Ladies and gentlemen, before we begin, can I just make a couple of housekeeping uh, announcements? I presume mobile phones are off or on silent. I've just done mine. Photography, in most theatres, you are banned from taking photography. For this afternoon, we positively welcome it. So don't feel that you can't take pictures. You will have translation headsets near you. They have been um, put on your seat backs. Please make sure they return at the end of the ceremony. And the final thing before we begin, could I ask that we remain seated throughout the ceremony out of courtesy for our graduates, please? Ladies and gentlemen, would you please stand to welcome the platform party? Please be seated. Honorary President, Academic Dignitaries, Chief Executive Officer, College Principals, Chair of the Corporation Board, Students, their families and friends, sponsors, College Staff and Corporation Board Members, on behalf of Group Thunderclamenai, I welcome you to the 2013 graduation ceremony. The ceremony this afternoon honours students from Colleg Llandithlo and Colleg Melion Duivo who have excelled in their studies and celebrates their academic successes. I'm therefore delighted to be able to ask the chair of Group Thunderclamenai Corporation Board, Dr. Roy Bicken, to open the ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Roy Bicken. <clears throat> My Lord, distinguished guests, and ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Group Fendritho Menai, I pleasure in welcoming you to the annual graduation ceremony for this year, 2013. It is an honour to be part of this important and special day for all of you. Delighted to welcome Glyn Jones, OBE, to his second award ceremony as Chief Executive of the group. And I'm especially pleased that Lord David Ellis Thomas is here in his capacity as Honorary President of the group and who will address you very shortly. To present the university graduates with the degrees and diplomas, I'm delighted to welcome our platform party guests. There's Professor Wynne Thomas, Pro Vice Chancellor from Bangor, and Karen Morris from the University of South Wales, which was formerly the University of Wales Newport, and Professor Peter Hurd, 
from Glyndwr. We also have to welcome Jackie Dudson as principal of College Fendrislo and the remainder of our distinguished platform party today. I'm very pleased to mention a former colleague and head of our hospitality division, Dr. Shyam Patia, who, while not with us today, he has but very much acts as a consultant to it, and he was honoured this year in the Queen's Beth the Honours list with an MBE. So, well done, Shyam. He's been a wonderful ambassador for the college, and he continues to be a wonderful ambassador for the college. Group Van Ritho Menai is now the sixth largest FE institution in the United Kingdom, with a £76 million annual turnover, providing for 35,000 students, covering four counties and supported by over 2,000 staff. Whilst this has been achieved, the group has not only maintained, but improved its quality profile and it remains regarded as the leading institution in the Welsh sector, whilst nurturing local engagement and ownership. Each of our colleges has won a raft of external awards and student accolades. I'm particularly pleased to announce that the group has achieved the coveted Investors in People Award, which we won earlier this year. This indeed is a testament to all of the staff who have worked together in a very effective way to achieve this. As we all know, the award ceremony is one of the high points of the academic calendar and represents for all graduates the culmination of years of effort, commitment and a determination to succeed. I congratulate all of you on your achievements and would like to extend my appreciation to family and friends who I'm sure have supported your endeavours throughout your studies. It was, also, it was a pleasure also to witness at the end of last week the many higher education successes at Colleg Menai when they had their graduation ceremony in Bangor Cathedral. Today, as successful graduates of this college, this represents the beginning for all of you of a long journey. That journey will take many paths with moments of elation and disappointment, and with times of uncertainty. On that journey, it will be your education and training that will help guide and support your progress and your achievements. It is for that reason that today is such an important occasion, and that the support of college staff has been with you. My sincere congratulations to all the students present on behalf of the group. My thanks to all the staff and parents, who helped make this possible in ensuring you get through your studies successfully. And I ask that you all, and I'm sure you will, enjoy this day. Before I hand back to, to Andrew Bettley, who is our Master of Ceremonies, I would just like to say that Andrew has been a valuable and respected member of our staff for 23 years, and for 20 years he has been the Master of Ceremonies at this event. Andrew, where are you? Thank you very much for all your efforts. You're very welcome. And enjoy your time. Thank you. Thank you. How to be surprised. I now invite the Principal and Executive Director of College Van Rithlo, Jackie Dudson, to address this congregation. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Jackie Dudson. Good afternoon, graduates, distinguished guests, governors, family and friends. On behalf of your tutors and the management team at Colleague Clandrithlow and Colleague Merion Dwivo, I'd like to congratulate you, our successful students, on your achievement. This is a momentous occasion for you and therefore giving this address is a great honour for me. It's also a big responsibility. So, in order to get it absolutely right, I decided to turn to colleagues and to past graduates for some inspiration. Their advice was overwhelmingly similar and can be summed up in three words. Keep it short. 
You'll be pleased to hear that I've listened to that advice. Shortly, you will be coming up on stage to collect your certificates. Do so with immense pride. Glory in your moment. Own this stage, for you've earned it. Some of you will be collecting higher national certificates. Some of you will be collecting degrees or foundation degrees from Bangor University, from Glyndor University, or from the University of South Wales. But whichever university awards your degree today, you have all studied at College Merion Duivo or at College Llandrithlo because our university partnerships have allowed us to offer you degree level courses on your doorstep. This opens up possibilities for those who can't or simply do not want to go away to study for a degree, which is often the case for mature students with work or family commitments. As a mature graduate myself, I know only too well the importance of these kinds of opportunities. I'd therefore like to thank our university partners for making today possible. Many of you will know the college is to build a university centre on the Hross campus at College Llandrithlo to be known as the UCCL. This is being developed in partnership with Bangor University and will provide an enhanced HE experience for students while still enabling you to study locally. Another example of what can be achieved through partnership. There are over 300 higher education students that will graduate this year and I'm delighted that amongst you sit seven with first class honours degrees and 15 of you hold foundation degrees with distinction. But not all of our 2013 graduates can be with us today. We congratulate them and wish them well in their absence. Graduates, today is your day and you've worked hard for it. However, I'm sure you will all agree that without the support and encouragement of your parents, husbands, wives, partners, children, friends, employers, and your college tutors, your road to success could have been a whole lot bumpier and somewhat longer. Some of those people will be here with you today, sitting proudly in the audience. And I would now like you to do something for them. Graduates, please stand up. Turn around. And join me in thanking the supporters that are with you today. Okay, thank you, you can sit down now. <laughs> It's heartwarming to see so many children here today, to watch their parents graduate. It sets a shining example and gives a positive message that learning is part of everyday life and not just something that you do in school. To have arrived at this moment is a wonderful, life-changing achievement. Some of you will have had a very straight path to get here, but some of you will have taken the long and the winding road over the hills and mountains of potential barriers to your achievement. You may have juggled study with a job or with family commitments, many of you with both. During your course, you will all have had times of despair, frustration, stress, terror before giving presentations, and you will have wondered if you would ever make it. You will also have experienced satisfaction and a growing confidence with every achievement along the way. And finally, you may have experienced relief at the final assignment handing and hopefully elation when you received your past grade. But whatever your journey, you did it, you got here and you deserve to be respected for it. You have proven your academic ability and shown determination and endurance and that's a very powerful combination for the challenges that life can throw out. This university qualification will mean different things to all of you. For some of you, it will be the key to promotion or a career change. To some, it will mean landing a job. And to some, it will be the satisfaction of knowing that you had it in you. For some, it will be about delayed achievement from not having had the opportunity or perhaps the inclination when you were younger. Whatever it means to you individually, your qualification will inevitably 
unlock doors. Four, in a dynamic, volatile and uncertain economic environment, job security is less about being employed than about being employable. Continuous learning and development and the acquisition of skills, knowledge and qualifications will improve your employability without doubt, but only if you use it well. I know that you will value the qualification you have just achieved, but make sure that you understand and value the skills, the knowledge, the experience that you have developed throughout the learning process. Take good account of your strengths and qualities and project them well. And this is not about being arrogant or showing off. It's about exuding confidence in yourself and your capabilities. I urge you not to see today as the end of a journey, but as a brief resting point in the quest for lifelong learning and continuous self-improvement. For it is this that will continue to give you a competitive edge in the job market. And more than that, it will make you better employees, employers, parents, friends, and members of your community. I salute you all and will watch with interest your progress. Please come back and share your stories of success with us and with the students that follow you. I'd like to leave you with a few words from the eminent master of children's literature, that is Theodore Zeus Geisel, better known as Dr. Zeus. Congratulations, today is your day. You're off to great places, you're off and away. You have brains in your head, you have shoe, feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. You're on your own and you know what you know. And you are the guy who'll decide where to go. With your head full of brains and your shoes full of feet, you're too smart to go down any not-so-good street. And will you succeed? Yes, you will indeed. 98 and 3 quarters percent guaranteed. Your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. Graduates of 2013, congratulations and good luck. Thank you, Jackie. As we approach the first series of graduate presentations, I'm pleased to welcome the president of Group Clandestine Menai, Lord David Ellis Thomas, to address the congregation. After a most distinguished academic career as both teacher and researcher at Aberystwyth, Bangor, Cardiff Universities, and at the Open University, Lord Ellis Thomas represented Merionoth Nant Conway in the Westminster Parliament from 1974 to 1992, and then, tra and then translated to the House of Lords as Bar Baron Ellis Thomas of Nant Conway. He is the Chancellor of Bangor University and a staunch member of the governing body of the Church of Wales. Currently, the Assembly Member for the Dwevo Merionith constituency, an area where he's lived all his life, he's regarded as one of the founding fathers of devolved government in Wales. On behalf of Group Llandetlo Mene, I welcome you this afternoon to share in the celebration of our students' success. Lord, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Lord David Ellis Thomas. I shall be speaking in the other official language of this country of ours because I believe it's important to keep, inter to keep interpreters in employment. <laughs> well, that's not the only reason, but it'll make do for today. Mein Vraint Agen Blesser, Geni Galach Kavarchi, and a ceremony radio hon. Doing great in a very close hockey, well in sooth, when he call a vaca yaya the skiama and seer conway, er my seer the mbacha seer ganarvon, oi the nora dalama britany, agins, well said Bethlehem and Kondocholi, do the war marionet. Guy long of our pow bonochi, well my Jackie winning raid and barod, Arthuidiant and a dewish vice. Ag my right pleasure, me your thought of ma and gasson. I weld y cynydd yn y mathau o raddau ac o ddiplomau a chymwysterau sydd yn cael eu cyflwyno yn y seremoni yma ac sydd yn adlewyrchu y gwaith a'r ysgol sydd yn digwydd yn grŵp llandrillomenau drwy'r thro. A dwi hefyd yn croesawu 
y bartneriaeth rhyngoch chi yma a'r prif ysgolion sydd yn cael eu cynrychu oli i'r llwyfen yma a dwi'n siŵr bydd pobl o fangor ac o glindŵr yn eithaf bodlon i mi gyfeirio'n arbennig at Brif Ysgol De Cymru. Gael o'n gyfarch y Brif Ysgol De Cymru a'r lwyddo i greu uniad rhwng dwy Brif Ysgol yn y de fydd yn sicr yn cyfrannu'n sylweddol i'r hyn y mae addysg uwch yng Nghymru yn gallu i gyflwyno ac felyn sy'n cynrychioli un o'r hen y Brif Ysgolion hyn y dan i'n dymuno pob llwyddiant i Brif Ysgol De Cymru. Gai hefyd dron gyfarth pawb ohono chi sydd wedi nid yn unig ennill cymwysterau academaidd ac addysgol, ond sydd wedi llwyddo yn ystod eich cyfnod yma mewn meysydd eraill, mewn meysydd o berfformio ac yn arbennig ymais chwaraeon. Dyr heina chi sydd yn eistedd yn bach yn nes i'r ffrant wedi sylwydd oli nad rwy ddim yn gwisgo teu prif ysgol Bangor y pnawn yma. A dwi'n hytrach yn gwisgo gyda balchder, lliwiau tîm rygbi, llewod, prydain ac i werddon. Er wrth gwrs. Er wrth gwrs, llewod Cymru, oedd y mwyafrif. A roedd oedd y fath bleser i ni dros yr wythnosau dwytha. Ac mae'n bwysig dwi'n meddwl yn bod ni yn cydnabod pob math o gampau yn cymdeithas. Ac wrth llong gyfarch y llewod, dwi hefyd yn llong gyfarch i hyfforddwyr a'u cefnogwyr, fel y dwi hefyd yn llong gyfarch a chyfforddwyr a'u cefnogwyr chi sydd yn graddio ac yn ennill cymwysterau eraill yma heddiw. Oherwydd chi ac wrth gwrs y teulu a'r cyfeillion, fel y cyfeiriwyd yn gynharach, sydd wedi helpu chi ddod i'r fan hyn. Un neges syml sy'n geni heddiw, sef nad oes dim byd o'i le mewn ymfalchio, mewn llwyddiant personol, llwyddiant tîm a dosbarth o hoffordaion o brentisiau da myfyrwyr. Dos dim rhinwedd o gwbl mewn tynnu pobl i lawr, gan air adrodd rhyw ddiar hebion i fychanu'r hais yn llwyddo rhyw ddi harreb megis canmoled a'r allt y di. Yn sirio oedd deall beth oedd hynny'n meddwl o'n i coed yn mwynhau canmol yn hyn. Dos oedd ddim byd o'i le mewn camol yn gilydd a thrwy hynny adeiladu hyder yn gilydd yn o'n un hynna'n ac mewn eraill. Dos dim am heiaeth, gen i, mae cyfraniad mawr hyfforddwyr llwyddiannus fel addysgwyr llwyddiannus. Fobl fel Warren Gatland oedd i meton, sir, ond dan i ar y ces. Warren Gatland o Zeland Newydd a Sir David Brailsfold yn nes adre y mae'r gogledd. Ydy'r gallu i argohoeddi i tîma mewn rygbi neu feicio, neu beth bynnag ydy'r sgiliau, y gallan nhw ennill. Ac mae'r argohoeddiad y gallwn ni ennill a llwyddo yn rhan hanfodol o seicoleg iach mewn chwaraeon ac mewn bywyd. Ag mae'r un peth yn wir mewn unrhyw fusnes llwyddiannus. Ar y funud, mae nifer ohono ni ar bwyllgor menter a dysgu'r cynulliad cynulleithol wedi bod yn astudio menter garwch neu entrepreneuriaeth yn ni wedi gymhlith pobl ifanc. Mae'n dda iawn gen i ddweud bod nifer o aelodau staff am y fyrwyr colegau grŵp yn rhyllo menau a choleg newydd Cambria a dymuniadau gorau iddyn hwythau hefyd yn Rexham ac Lana Dyfrdwy wedi bod yn cyfrannu i'r astudiaeth hon. Mi fyddwch chi gyd wedi clywed ar hen jôg sal nad oes na air Cymraeg i'w gael am entrepreneur. Na gair Saesneg, gwaith o ran hynny. Ond yr hyn y dwi wedi ddysgu'n barod wrth astudio rhyn sy'n digwydd yn yn colegau ni. Ydy, mae drwy mei threthu yn ymarferol drwy brofiad, ac yn wir drwy fentro, a sefydlu cwmniau sy'n masnachu gwasanaethau neu gynnyrch. Y mae pobl ifanc a phobl o bob o edrych hynny yn dysgu llwyddo mewn busnes. A dwi'n canmol yn enwedig y myfyrwyr hynny o'r colegau hyn sydd wedi bod yn rhan o gystadlaethau rhyngwladol yn maes menter garwch dros y blynyddoedd dwytha. Ond, dwi'n gwrs, er mwyn bodloni'r hyn i sy'n mwynhau achwyn a bod yn y gyddol, a dwi'n gwybod bod hynny ddim yn cynnwys neb yn o chi sy'n mae heddiw. Mi allwn i ail adrodd y peth amlwg sy'n bod mentro yn golygu methu weithiau hefyd. Fydda menter ddim yn fenter heblaw bod ni'n rysgio hynny. Ond y wers ar ôl methu neu golli mewn gem neu mewn bywyd fel y dangosodd y llewod i ni mor amlwg yn ei taith i weddar, ydy ailgodi 
ail gychwyn. Dwi'n mas yn yr ail hanner yn gryfach nag yr eithoch chi mewn ar ddiwedd yr hanner cyntaf. Felly mwyn hewch y llwyddiant heddiw a gymlaen â chi a ffawb o honno ni at yr her nesa. Gan gymryd munud yn unig fel y byddwn ni wrth groesu drwy unrhyw fwlch ar y mynyddoedd godidog sy'n mor wych yn edrych heddiw yma. Mynyddoedd godidog y carneddau ti fas i'r neuadd yma. Oedi am ychydig i edrych yn ôl i weld pa mor bell ydyn ni wedi dod. Pa mor bell y mae grŵp llanrillo. Menai a'r colegau cyfansoddol wedi dod yn y blynyddoedd ers bod mae'r hain wedi cael ei sefydlu. Ac yna ar ôl edrych yn ôl, dim ond am ychydig eiliadau, cam ymlaen a'r daith hyderus. Diolch yn fawr i chi am rando. We have reached the first of the series of presentations. Don't forget, you are very welcome to approach the stage and take photographs, friends and families. Uh, the students will be presented in groups and will line up on the side there for group photographs before they leave the stage and we begin more presentations. I now invite Dr Roy Bicken, Chair of Group Flandriflo Menai Corporation Board, to receive students who have followed higher education courses managed directly by the group, College Landreflo and Edexcel. And we have one group for presentation this afternoon, Dr. Bicken, the Higher National Diploma in Photography. Firstly, Rayan Bell. Michael Jones. <laughs> Hannah Lecky. <laughs> and finally in this group, Charlotte Parker. Well done. I would now like to ask Professor Wynne Thomas, the Pro Vice Chancellor of Bangor University, to receive students who successfully completed qualifications awarded by Bangor University. Your stint will not be quite as short. <laughs> the first group, BA Honours, Management and Business, and I'd like to announce our first uh, person to be presented with a first-class honours degree, Andrea Adams. <laughs> Matthew Bradburn. Kimberly Jones. <laughs> Matthew Jones. <laughs> Jonathan Lambert. <laughs> ha Long. Anita Pawluk. <laughs> Monica Simkute. <laughs> and we started with the first and we finished with the first. Marek Velgos.
Congratulations, all of you. The BA Honours Management and Business, we know this group as the top-up because they've been with us for a little while. Firstly, Judith Burgess. <laughs> Julie Colgate. Lizzie Evans. Uh, with a first class degree, please welcome Anne Francis. Jessica Hannam. Vicky Jones. <laughs> Ursula Markowska. <laughs> Edna Elizabeth Pomeroy. Julianne Roberts. And our final member of this group, again with a first class honour, so very well done, Thomas Shreese Williams. Well done. The BA in Management and Business, and I have three students to present. Firstly, Benjamin Andrew Edwards. Louise Elizabeth Moore. And Denise Francis Roberts. Well done. I also have three students to present for the Foundation Degree in Management and Business. Firstly, Hannah Louise Cassidy. <laughs> Victoria Evans. <laughs> and lastly, Shalan Louise Browley. Congratulations. <laughs> Just rewind that. That's it. <laughs> the BA Honours in Retail Management, and I have five students to present. Firstly, Anwen Hannah Astbury. Jessica Bennett. <laughs> Eu 
Louise Emily Ford. And with the first class honours, please welcome Helen Mary Hodgkinson. And finally, with this group, Samantha Leanne Holt. Well done, everybody. Foundation degree in retail management, Sophie Cheatham. <laughs> Laura Jane Ellis Williams. Michael John Evans. Lisa Ann Hother. And finally in this group, Jane Elizabeth Roberts. Congratulations. We now come to the BSc Honours in Commercial Construction Management and we have one student to present this afternoon. The rest are all working on the infrastructure of the country, but very nice to welcome you. Daryl J. Baxter. Well done. The Foundation Degree in Construction, and again I'm very pleased to welcome two students. Firstly, Gethin Morris. And Evan Thomas. The Foundation Degree in Civil Engineering, and we have three students to present this afternoon. Firstly, Charles John James Enston. <laughs> Sean Wynne Pierce. <laughs> and finally, John Andrew Seed. Well done.
foundation degree in Deaf Studies. Firstly, Denise Claire Barrett. I'd just like to point out that Denise would have been with us last year, but she finished a little late, so we're glad to see her this year, so well done. Ian Daniel Beck. <laughs> Donna Campbell. Claire Jeffries. <laughs> Jane Catherine Plant. <laughs> Jennifer Pratt. Rebecca Sean Roberts. <laughs> Anne Silman Monks. <laughs> and finally in this group, Geraldine Lynn Turner. Well done, everybody. The Foundation Degree in Energy and Power Technologies. Firstly, Rupert Corner. <laughs> Keith Richard Elliott. <laughs> Jonathan McDougall. Saul Graham Page. <laughs> and finally, someone who should have been with us last year, but we got him this time, Elvid Williams. <laughs> Congratulations. The BA Health and Social Care Management, and I have two students to present, Lindsay Joanne Keyes, <laughs> and Betty Tolongo. Well done. <laughs> the Foundation Degree in Health and Social Care Management. Firstly, Claire McCafferty. <laughs> Timothy Ratcliffe.
Samantha Ann Roberts. And finally in this group, Emma Claire Williams. Congratulations. The BA Honours in Childhood and Learning Support Studies. Firstly, may I present Nicola Grace Alexander. <laughs> Amy Helen Anderson. Rebecca Louise Beach. <laughs> Hannah Jane Bracken. <laughs> Jennifer Cooper. Jane Louise Crawford. And with a first class honours, particularly well done, Joseph Edwin Earl. Sean and Harrod James Faulkner. Caroline Jones. And our final student in this group, Nicola Kelly Mullender. Congratulations, all of you. The Foundation Degree in Childhood and Learning Support Studies, and I'm pleased to present three students. Firstly, Julie Ann Chapman. <laughs> Colleen Patricia Grogan. <laughs> and finally, Fiona Meyer Jones. Congratulations. The BA Honours in Hospitality Management. Firstly, Laurentio Dimitru. <laughs> Robert Hughes. <laughs> Callum Jones. Abby Jane Kelly. And 
finally, Sam Stevens. Well done. BA Honours Culinary Arts. Firstly, Jocelyn Arthur. <laughs> Hannah Louise Bates. <laughs> David Charles Condren. And with a first class degree, please welcome Michael Terence Garner. <laughs> Gemma Claire Jones. <laughs> and finally in this group, please welcome David John Plester. Congratulations. The Foundation Degree in Culinary Arts, Duenwen and Harrod Leonard. Nathan Roberts. Kate Ann Wallace. And finally, Maisie Juta Warner. Very well done. <laughs> the Foundation degree in Library and Information Management, I'm very pleased to be able to present two students, both of whom have earned distinctions in this degree. So very well done to pair of you. Firstly, Samantha Dodd. and Gareth Martin-Williams. <laughs> Congratulations. The Foundation Degree in Digital Media and Television Production. Firstly, I present Callum Charles Tate Grindley. <laughs> Nicholas James Haney. <laughs> James Hewitt Owen. Ben Lewis Hughes. <laughs> 
John Ashley Moth. Samuel John Parry. And to recognise his distinction, Jonathan Lloyd Roberts. Well done. Annalyn Warren. And finally in this group, Andrew Richard Wilde. Congratulations to you all. The BA Honours in Sports Coaching, I'm delighted to be able to welcome one member who has graduated this year, Stephanie Marty Jones. Well done. Congratulations. Music to your ears now. The last group for Bangor University. Okay. The BA Honours in the Management of Travel and Tourism. And we have five students to present. Firstly, Sarah Louise Din. <clears throat> Deborah Ann Lace. Samantha Roberts. Claire Elizabeth Twamley. And Monica Agnieszka Zahora. Congratulations to all of you. Thank you. I now invite Professor Peter Hurd, the Pro Vice Chancellor from Glyndor University, to receive students who have successfully completed qualifications awarded by that institution. Our first qualification is the Foundation Degree in Art and Design. And I'm very pleased to welcome Miriam El Jazuli. <laughs> Gary James Ford. <laughs> and with a distinction, Vicky Louise Frost. Like a sponsored walk. Hina Khan. Luca Morell. <laughs> Ms. 
Andrew Rixham. And finally in this group, Beverly Ann Williams. Well done, all of you. Foundation degree in applied computing. Raymond Anthony Dutfield Cook. Matthew David Jones. And finally in this group, Sarah Jane Lloyd. Well done. The Foundation Degree in Applied Computing, bilingual. Firstly, Thomas William Ellis. And Catherine Elizabeth Slaney. Well done both. Congratulations. <laughs> Foundation degree in IT support. Please welcome Gareth John Shaw. <laughs> and Paul Wheeler. Well done. Congratulations. And our last group for Glyndor University, the BA Honours in Public and Social Policy. Please welcome Jennifer Kelly Bailey. Susan Bassett. <laughs> Hannah Chamberlain. <laughs> it's an unusual group, this, because we actually have two husbands and wives. Here's the first. And with a first class on this degree, Liana Duffy. Thomas Duffy. <laughs> Jeanette Fowler. <laughs> Neil Fowler. Wendy Jones. With a first class degree, please welcome Andrew Jones. Robert Morris.
Juliet Powell. Victoria Roberts. Jacqueline Williams. And she made it in the end, Andrea Jones. Well done, all of you. Well done. Thank you, Peter. I now invite Karen Morris, who is the Head of the School of Education of the University of South Wales, to receive students who have successfully completed qualifications awarded by that university. Our first group to be presented this afternoon is the Certificate in Education, the Post Compulsory Education and Training, and these are students at colleague Mary on Dweaver, and we are very pleased to see them with us this afternoon. Firstly, Harve Davis. And John Fries Williams. Well done, both. Well done. The Professional Graduate Certificate in Education in Post-Compulsory Education and Training. Please welcome Rebecca Louise Clark. <laughs> Emily Drennan. <laughs> Mandy Martin. Julie Marie McLernan. <laughs> Janet Elizabeth Murphy. <laughs> and finally in this group, Ali Omar. Congratulations to all of you. The Certificate in Education in Post-Compulsory Education and Training. Please welcome Karen Hazel B. Paul Flanagan. <laughs> Sophie Laura Henley. <laughs> Jane Leslie Highfield. Claire Hughes. <laughs> Sarah, 
Suzanne Laura Jones Roberts. Thomas John Morgan. Charlotte Eleanor Roberts. Sharon Jacqueline Smith. Gemma Timoney. And finally in this group, Dawn Marie Williams. Well done. I was going to announce our last group, but we have one learner left. So let's call her on stage. Certificate in Education, Adult Literacy, Jennifer Bailey. Thank you. Well done. Before I hand over to Glyn, may I ask that we congratulate all our graduates one more time. Everybody, please. Thank you very much indeed. I now invite the Chief Executive Officer of Group Fandetlo Menai to close this year's graduation ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Glyn Jones. Prananda, uh, good afternoon. I'm very proud to be able to say a few words to close this ceremony and to congratulate all of you on your achievement that has been celebrated here today. The qualifications you've gained, I know will be a huge asset to you in your future careers or studies. But I also know that the other qualities and experiences that you've had in the process will be equally important. I know that it takes hard work, commitment, grit, perseverance, and the ability to help and support each other when the going gets tough. I know many of you have juggled families and work responsibilities as well as your studies. Now, all of these are qualities that you will need in leading a successful life. I know that this is as well your day as students to celebrate with your friends and your families, but we also feel as staff that your success is our success. And I'm sure that you as students will acknowledge and remember that your awards could not have been achieved without the expert tuition and support of a fantastic team of staff at College Llandrithlo and College Merion Duivor. As a college and as staff at the college, we've known thousands of students who have sat here as you are this afternoon and who have gone on to enjoy rewarding and stimulating careers. So I'd like to just pause for a moment and let you reflect on what will be your story? What will be your legacy? How will you be remembered as a group? What will people say about you? Will they say she was a great boss?
very fair, very supportive? Will they say, what a talent, a real asset to the business? Will they say, he did a really excellent job on time, on budget? Will they say, he or she was really caring and made a huge difference when we needed help? And on top of your job and perhaps work responsibilities, will people also think of you as a good husband or a good wife or a partner or a good father or a good mother? Will you be a good neighbour and perhaps most important of all, a good citizen? As you contemplate your next steps in life, take time to think about those questions and what your contribution might be. I'd like to say a few brief words about our partnership with the universities represented here today, Bangor University, University of South Wales and Glyndwr University. Some of these partnerships began some 20 years ago when many of you receiving awards today were still primary school children. The universities represented here today with Group Clandretlo Menai provide a fantastic legacy of widening access to higher education in North West Wales. Many thousands of students have progressed to successful careers in our major industries and small businesses right through Wales and indeed the UK. And I'd like to thank the universities here today for their partnership and we relish working with you into the future to help thousands more learners to gain their qualifications. Before I wrap up this afternoon, however, I do need to repeat what the chairman said earlier on and make a special mention of our Master of Ceremonies, Andrew Betley. Now, Andrew is leaving the college this summer after 24 years of service as a manager in general education. He may have taught some of you English over the years. But my role is to thank Andrew for his role as the Master of Ceremonies at today's event and indeed for the last 19 ceremonies prior to this one. As an MC, he has been a peerless performer. His well-modulated voice and perfect pace has you all dancing in tune to him up onto the stage to receive your awards. He's unflappable. And although we know there's many an error or a slip in proceedings, hopefully you as an audience will never see that as he's able to brush it off and pass it over very calmly. Andrew hasn't just been an MC, of course, he's also been a very important part in the planning of these events over the years, and his contribution and input has been outstanding. So I'd like you to please join me in thanking Andrew. <clears throat> I'd also like to thank our colleagues, the signers and the translators, who have made this event all the more enjoyable for those of you who have needed them. And returning to the students and the graduates receiving their awards here today, whatever your ambitions and your future plans, I believe that you're now well equipped to address them and to face up to the challenges I mentioned earlier. On behalf of Group Clandret Lomeni, I wish you both luck and success for the future. We're immensely proud of you and what you've achieved, and we hope that you'll remain in contact with us and update us on your progress over the years to come. And lastly, thank you all of you in the audience for giving us your support and your participation in today's ceremony. And please be welcome to join us for some tea and cakes out in the reception hall uh, to the right of uh, the theatre. Thank you very much. Would you please stand to allow the platform party to leave? Thank you very much indeed. Thank you.